We've got new information tonight about the death of a woman who deputies in Goochland say was mauled by her own dogs. Investigators are now saying the pit bulls had not been bred for fighting and they're addressing social media skepticism about what happened to Bethany Stevens. Our Laura French joins us now live from Goochland with more details. Laura. Well, Bill, this sheriff's office has gotten feedback from around the world. So to respond to that, they did something unprecedented tonight. They were completely transparent, and they took the media in a, the, in a room off camera. They showed us some of Bethany Stevens' graphic, graphic images of what happened to her that night, how her clothes were shrewd all around her body, and the only thing left on her was one of her boots. They also described what they saw when they got on scene and the changes that were happening in those dogs' lives prior to Wednesday. Take a listen. While we were talking about strategies to catch the dogs, we turned and looked. The dogs had gone back over to the body, and I observed, as well as four of other deputy sheriffs observed, the dogs eating the rib cage on the body. And so they became more um, isolated, where the only contact that they had was with each other, and it was on a, uh, and, and less and less human contact. And so they were out in the cold in, in the, uh, the kennel, uh, and, and I'm not saying that, they, that the family was neglectful at all. But they were all. dogs that were kept outside? They were kept outside, and, and they previously had been inside dogs. And then the investigators pointed out that is because Bethany was not staying with her dad and the dogs were actually at her dad's house. Now, those dogs, with the permission of the family and the recommendation of the sheriff's office, they were euthanized on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Those dogs have been preserved and are, have been frozen for evidence right now. The sheriff's office is in the process of trying to find someone to do a necropsy on those animals. Meanwhile, toxicology and all of those other tests, remember, they had collected about 60 pieces of evidence. All of that should take about 90 days until we have an official cause of death. They also pointed out this investigation is still ongoing. Working for you from the Goochland Sheriff's Department tonight, Laura French, 